Uh, hello. So we're here to interview you about uh, your experience in ISB and uh, in u university as well. So why don't you start by introducing yourself and your achievements? Uh, hello, I'm Maria and um, I'm currently a third year student at Erasmus University of Rotterdam uh, and I'm studying economics. That's very impressive. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, in what ways do you think ISB prepared you for university? Well, in my case, uh, I was always a very busy student at ISB, where I tried to balance my extracurriculars with my studies. And this definitely helped me in the aspect of time man management. When you go to university, you'll see that nobody tells you to do anything, it, and it's only up to you to, how, uh, to organize your schedule. And uh, moreover, uh, being used to an international environment surely helped me adapt easily. It's easier to make international friends and integrate uh, to such a culturally diverse environment when you are used to it and when you just feel like back home. Thank you. Um, did you notice having any advantages in university due to graduating from ISB and the IB program? Well, I think that the IB program was useful to the extent uh, that I got used to a very high workload. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when I got to university and I realized uh, how many exercises I have to uh, finish or how many chapters I have to read, I was uh, able to adapt very easily. And this gave me an advantage in the beginning. But by the end of the day, everybody is able to adapt to their own education system. Mm -hmm. And um, also, when it comes to assignments, people who study the IB are usually performing the best. Even though my program didn't have many assignments until now, when I did, I felt comfortable and I got the highest grade. So IB was useful in some aspects. Yes, I'm sure many uh, students will use this as motivation. Um, what's your advice to current students in ISB as a former Remarkable alumni? Well, my advice would be to study hard and uh, focus on your education. I know it's very difficult to mm -hmm. stay focused all the time, but uh, the efforts you put now, I'm sure they're going to pay off later. Hopefully. Um, now that you're an university student, is there anything you wish you would have conducted differently in your earlier stages of education? Well, um, study-wise, I don't think so. I, I think I would still uh, study and do my best to achieve the highest results. But let's say, when looking back, maybe I would undertake less projects or extracurricular activities and, ins and instead focus on like a sport or another hobby. Mm -hmm. But I'm also very happy with all my uh, projects at, at ISB and the activities I uh, did because all of them helped me develop into the person I am today. Um, what are some differences you have noticed between secondary school and university? Well, uh, first of all, uh, the amount of hours you spend at school and university is different. For example, now I only have eight hours per week at, on campus. Therefore, uh, in university, you're expected to work a lot o on your own. So even if I have like two or three lectures, you have to read before and do the exercises after on your own. Nobody's going to guide you or supervise you. and. Um, uh, yeah, as I said before, you are completely independent. Nobody is going to push you to study, and it's your responsibility to take notes of the course material, material, and then learn it. Unlike in high, in high school, where or secondary school, where the teachers would always remind you about the deadlines and would always uh, motivate you and support you to uh, do the best you can. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge step to adulthood. It is. It mm -hmm. is. Um, was the transition a difficult one for you? If so, can you explain why? Well, for me, I don't think it was that difficult because I was very excited for this chapter of my mm -hmm. life. Um, and I believe I'm quite a social person, so I managed to make friends from the start. Uh, I would go to, for example, like I would go to all the events and I managed to meet a lot of new people. And also, as I said before, being in an international environment was not new to me, which definitely helped. And I'm also lucky that in the Netherlands, everyone speaks English. Mm -hmm. So there was no language barrier. 
and I was easily capable to do uh, at the administrative things such as opening a bank account or registering at the municipality. Yes, we have a lot of students who want to study in Netherlands, so the language, uh, the lack of language barrier it would be a huge help for them. Yes. Um, what do you owe your educational success to? Well, uh, I owe my education success to my family, mm -hmm. as they were the ones who always supported me, both uh, financially and emotionally. They were the ones who were always pushing me to be the best and to achieve the highest results. And um, a large part of my success is uh, because of them. Very glad to hear so. Um... And yeah. That's, uh, that's our questions for today. Thank you so much for answering and taking from your time. I'm sure many students will be very gr grateful for your time. Thank you. Thank you for the interview.